Arena Crew. They're down in the dirt on the shoots, making it all work behind the scenes. Oh, they're looking hard. She's looking hard. She, she is staring that big screen down. We will find you. There she is. On this final Sunday of the 91st season of the Houston Live Fox Show Rodeo, Bareback Rock Body is where our attention turns now. Chevron probably presents it at Rodeo Houston. You'll see this kid today. He's trying to defend his title. He went on not only to win Rodeo Houston, but to become the reigning champion of the world. But he's not alone. Casey Fields got six of those gold buckles. Tim O'Connell's got three. And they're all after a Rodeo Houston championship today. 2020, his first season for Cole Reiner. He was the Resist All Rookie of the Year. Ever since then, he's done nothing but be one of the best in the world. Three trips to the national finals. Disco party, the Calgary Horse. They put up some big. him in a minute was 90 points on this horse in Fort Worth and don't look in your rear view mirror because Cole Ryder's coming fast. Boy that's pretty. That was a nice ride. Get ready for it. It's our first one of the year. Disco party and he did dance. All right, he won another one right behind him. Get ready, he's already won $10,000. Keenan Hayes came out of the wild card. Number two in the world standings, Colorado's finest young one. Here's an NFR horse from the survey. Might go to the right. That's not very far from the 90. Woo! Pretty spur ride. Where are they going? Judges, Electron Hope, oh, they're going to mark it 87. 87. And remember, we're going for the top four. And how many times, Andy, is an 87 or won a go in a Super Series? Or won a go in a semifinal or wild card round? But I'm ashamed to say that 87 has me nervous as to whether it will advance. Five times the champion at Houston, six-time world champion, Casey Field, Guardian Angel, the Sorrel Steed underneath him. They've been as high as 90 on this one. I bumped into him in the parking lot, fellas, and I said, Casey, are you ready to ride? He said, yeah, I'm putting my quarters in him. I'm going to see how far he takes me. Put a $2 quarter in him this time. Look at the kick on this horse. And the machine that we call it. He delivered. Okay, folks. One less than the leader. 89 points. You're watching a fucking horse ride. And can we keep this up? I mean, 90, 87, 89. Woo! This is good. Watch it. Now let's go to a young gun named Jake O. Roper. 21 years old, 5'9", 155 pounds. Hey, Steph, give me a little bump. He wants his ring and pull a little tight. That's good. Yeah, that's good. How do you top those scores right there? Well, you can put a 91 on him for Jacob. Remember the first few times we saw him? We called him a rookie. This kid's become a veteran at a very young age at 21. Number six in the world. Uh, Already? Yeah. Having a good year. Knight Delta is the horse from the picket company. They're talking him up. Three and a half on this horse. 
on the 4th of July in Pecos, Texas. They are some of the best in the world. This paid horse has a lot of power underneath the Oklahoma Cowboy. Change of direction. I mean, look at how high this horse is kicking. Getting up in the air. 84 and a half is now the cut line for Mr. Roper. Every time you look at a name and then you pull your finger across your page to the horse, you go, oh my God, this is going to be good. Leighton Berry, number three in the world. The horses pick at Shady Nights. They've been bucking loads of points on this horse. at the end of that second jump. Look at that! This is so fun to watch, but you have to be so meticulous in your judging. Another great horse. Layton does a great job. 88 points goes to three. 88 would win so many other rodeos, but right now it's third. 87 is on the verge of being kicked to the curb. This is insane how good this is, and it's about to get even better. Tim O'Connell. Finals, his 11th year as a professional bareback rider. Look at him roll those feet all the way up to the handle and then beat the horse to the ground on the front end. Is it enough? No, it isn't. By a half point, 86 and a half for Tim O'Connell. Let me put you in a reality point in life if you've got kids. The next guy, Chad Rutherford. He's got two little ones and they play with frogs. Well, Daddy's got to play with the freckled frog today. That's the bucket horse underneath there, Daddy. I did They've not know They've been 90 that. on this horse, boys. Went around in San Antonio on this mare with an 89 and a half. That kind of a score again to get you in the top four. I did not know that his kids played with frogs, Bob. You ought to, they're the cutest little boogers. That's the hard-hitting journalism that we've really been missing. Along with the fact that they're cute little boogers. Every night he pushes them in here. Your muscles, let your muscles get to get a hold of him. Easy. He's in Texas, Houston. Oh, the frogs do in Houston. Maybe they did their homework putting this pin of horses together. And they have brought some of the best. Freckled Frog, the picket pro rodeo, going straight down the pen. An honest effort from the horse, an honest effort from the cowboy. But as crazy as it sounds, 85 points is not enough to advance Chad Rutherford. All right, boy. Hello, Andy. What have we been talking about since the wild card yesterday? This Sam Peterson. Everybody in Montana watching him today, Rod Lyman included. This is the hottest new hot shot in the world in a rematch from Denver. This is William Wallace, dirty duck into the right. Woohoo! Well, to all the family members that are having lunch parties, you'll be proud. This young man 
He's a God wink to us. His uncle won this rodeo back in 1985 in the Astrodome. But 81 points will not be enough for the 19-year-old to move on out of the 10 round. So, uh, Richie Champion from the Woodlands originally, we asked him, what do you think when you're in the shoot? It's impossible to stay in time with a bucking horse if you're thinking. So, clear your mind, trust that your body's going to do what it knows how to, and go have some fun. He spurred him twice on one jump. Right there. That's being aggressive. But at 82 and a half, we're not going to get Richie to our final four. So it's very curious that four out of our first five rides are sitting in the number one spot, and they've only been moved once. But the final guy to go is our defending champion and the defending world champion. Jess Pope of Waverly, Kansas, just crossed the million dollar mark last week. He's got a paid horse called Dream Machine that they were 91 points on here a year ago. Watch his horse get off the ground. 
is looking out of due now to go to Leighton Berry. Leighton Berry with a rematch. At the Canadian Finals, he was 88 on this horse. Had a tie. Leighton Berry with a protection. from his fellow competitors and friends, you know that Layton's doing something spectacular. If he wants his first Rodeo Houston title, he has to be more than 88. How much noise can you make for him? I just want to see him smile. All right, CC. That's the third time he's had that horse. I know you all were telling the folks about that, but you know it's got to be somewhat comforting to be getting on a horse that you've had before, but still he had to make it pay. Now, if it's comfortable doing something you've done before, KC Field should be pretty comfortable. He's won this rodeo five times. The veteran, 36 years young, six-time world champion, son of a Hall of Famer.
We see the 90-point ride, but I want to take you back two years to Odessa, Texas in January and let Layton tell you what he went through in Odessa and what he had to get through to get to this side. Layton, tell us. Well, it's been God's plan all along. Uh, Odessa, Texas, two years ago, had a horse sandwich me in the bucking machine, broke my back. Uh, I was just coming off my first that car. Uh, God willing, I was healthy in eight months. Came back, got a taste of bareback riding, got another NFR under my belt, and uh, now it's time to change that and become a world champion. This is how you do it, by winning Houston. That's, that's the big first step, isn't it? So just quickly, tell me what they had to do to repair your back. Uh, so they fused my T12 and L1 vertebrae together, uh, well, four rods, two screws. Um, I got some hardware back there, but everything feels really good, so. A little tough to get through an airport, though, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's watch this ride, you walk in. So this, you've had this horse twice before. I mean, the CFR, the final? Uh, I actually won Pinocchio on this horse last year, too, the first time I had her. Uh, you can't ask for any more out of this bucket horse. She stands in the box like a dog and just leaves there and lets you do everything you want to do. Uh, she's never easy. She's going to test you every time, but whenever you're doing everything right, it feels so awesome. Well, buddy, as you said, gold buckles in your future. There's one right now from our friends at Rodeo Houston to go on with the side. Presenting that buckle from Chevron, Bruce Niemeyer, the president of Chevron Americas, Exploration and Production, and there is Miss Anne Carruth, the wife of our chairman of the board, 